All right, heading over to Washington, D.C. Normally, we like to save our viewer questions for Fridays, but we got one yesterday morning that we would like to fit into today's show. Lee Bradley in Nampa texted us to ask, texted us to ask this question. What is the latest on the downwinder program? When will it be voted on and who will qualify for the funds and how do they apply for those funds? That's quite a few questions. All right, let's start with this. What is a downwinder? If you're new to Idaho or maybe to the West, the term may be unfamiliar, but you're going to likely hear more of it coming from D.C. soon. So we're going to explain that in a minute. But downwinders, people who lived in parts of Idaho, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, Montana, New Mexico, and Colorado during the 40s, 50s, and 60s. That was the time the federal government was conducting hundreds of atmospheric nuclear blasts in Nevada and across the New Mexico deserts. And for decades, many have said the radiation from those blasts just kind of spread out, got caught up in the jet stream, spread out across the West, and people all across the Western states eventually got cancer. Idaho Senator Mike Crapo, a big proponent of downwinder legislation, says Idaho's fallout steams or stems mostly from one blast on June 5th, 1952. He says it greatly impacted the counties of Custer, Jem, Blaine, and Lemhi, which he says saw some of the highest exposure in the nation. According to a 1997 National Cancer Institute study, Jem, Jem County actually received the third highest amount of radiation fallout in the country. So for the past 25 years, members of Congress, including Senator Crapo, for the last 10 years, well, they've been working to get new legislation passed to help those people affected by those blasts known as downwinders. Senator Crapo says there's currently legislation in place called the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act. It was designed to compensate victims, of the airborne radiation from those weapons testings. Right now, though, it only includes those who live in parts of Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. And that legislation will expire in July unless Congress can extend it. Part of Senator Crapo's legislation would make sure other states like Idaho, Colorado, Montana, and New Mexico would be included in that compensation. And they almost passed it back in December. We actually had this uh, extension agreed to as an amendment to our National Defense Authorization Act last December. And it was agreed and ready to move forward. But then uh, the entire tranche of amendments that had been agreed to to that bill got dropped out in a procedural battle that forced all of those amendments to be pulled back uh, for reasons unrelated to the, the amendments themselves. And so uh, although that particular opportunity fell by the wayside as a result of other party politics, uh, we, we know that we have bipartisan agreement in both the Senate and the House, and I expect that we have a good chance to be able to get that extension put in in some of the legislation that moves between now and July. That is barring another tranche of amendments, I guess. So let's back, get back to Lee's question. We don't know when it will be voted on, but the hope is, like Senator Crapo said, before July, before the current legislation runs out. We do know this legislation includes increasing the compensation from $50,000 to $150,000 to those affected.